Well, citrus is a very interesting tree. It's, a, it's a, a considered a subtropical tree. Um, I always thought of, of citrus trees as being relatively drought sensitive. But the work that we've done uh, over the last uh, 15 years or so has shown that the trees are actually quite tolerant of stress. We've done work on uh, three different cultivars. Two of those cultivars we put on only 17 inches of water per the year. That's about half of what the tree has the potential to use, which is about 34 inches. And with those 17 inches of water, in one case, with a late harvest peach, um, or excuse me, late harvest citrus called uh, Lane Late, that actually produced revenue far in excess of what the fully irrigated trees would have. And that's because with that late harvest citrus, it's harvested in April, May, sometimes even into June versus a normal December or a January harvest, that fruit is on the tree for such a long period of time that it tends to grow too much. And the fruit is very large, tends to be very large at harvest. And it can be so large, it looks like a grapefruit, that it's not marketable in the fresh market and that fruit becomes worthless to the grower. And so with our stress, we were able to reduce the overall fruit size, shift the fruit size distribution away from these very large sizes to the smaller sizes which are much more valuable at that time of the year and therefore significantly improve the revenue that a grower receives. And so that's an example of where we can reduce from 10 to 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent even maybe of consumptive use and actually have a higher marketable yield for the grower to, uh, to profit from.